Welcome once again to Driving Sports TV Live. I'm your host, Ryan Douthat. And I'm Aaron Bartell. This week, I did a car review. We'll also have the news and uh, take your chatter conversation later in the program. But first, according to 100,000 YouTube viewers, apparently, I need to learn how to drive. Oh, thanks. I got tired of sitting in the studio all the time and I thought, hey, it's time for me to do my first review. I wanted something fast, something sporty. Ryan says, how about a GT? I thought, fantastic, until he gave me this. The Mazda 5 GT. Do I look like a hockey dad? Mazda says that all of its models have the soul of a sports car, so we're gonna review it as one. The way we see it, all sports cars have two primary attributes, speed and handling. How do you like the GT? You're a dick. <laughs> Our first test is going to be for speed. We're going to do 0 to 60. Ryan's handling the technical aspects. That's right. I'll be using a program called Dynolicious. Now, this will automatically calculate the 0 to 60 time using the accelerometer in the iPhone. Uh, it, we find it's actually pretty accurate. Now, keep in mind that the vehicle here, as provided to us by the press fleet, isn't 100% stock. They did equip snow tires because, well, it is winter time. So, there we go. So everything is all set up in the, in the system now. All we have to do is hit the go button, and we are go. in 11.47 seconds. 11 That's, that is a lot not faster bad. than I thought. Was not good. a sports car. Not no, a sports not a sports car. car. Not a sports car. And here we have the details of that run. Horsepower is the yellow line. G-forces is the blue line. Total miles per hour is the red line. The program calculated a peak horsepower of 102 at the wheels. Our next test is handling. Now, ordinarily, I would drive for this portion, but since it is I'm, his review. Since I'm an NAP driver, um, we're gonna let Ryan drive. Even though, according to the forums, he can't drive either. He's still better than me. Now, I love how they included snow tires on this car. Should make cornering interesting. Yeah, indeed. A little uh, rally style on asphalt. Mm -hmm. so I've driven this road in a number of sports cars, so I know it pretty well. Oh man. Uh, and stuck behind a couple of slow drivers. I'm jamming my style. Pull over and wait. Yeah, we're gonna pull out here. So while we're waiting, let's take a look at some of the specifications of this car. It has a 2.3 liter motor that's good for 153 horsepower. Uh, that's a standard four cylinder that you would find also in the Mazda 3 in the higher end version. Um, it is not turbocharged. There is no turbocharged five. So if you want to wait for one of those, you're just gonna keep on waiting because that ain't gonna happen. Uh, the model as equipped here is about $24,000. Uh, it's the GT package, as Aaron mentioned. <laughs> um, but it doesn't have some of the extras, like we don't have the nav system uh, and we don't have the electric seats. These are just uh, manual, but they are leather, which is nice. Deer. Deer? Where? Up there. Oh, look, it is a deer. Wildlife. Three of them. Nice. Let's try not to hit any as we're going yeah, through we'll, the Yeah, we're going to the avoid turns. deer. Now, I'm in first gear, I'm going to be using the um, Autotronic stick thingy. And uh, we'll see how well this Mazda 5 fares 
on a real road. Brian, that sign just said 15 miles an hour and the curb's up ahead. Uh, yeah, 50. Not quite fast enough for you? Oh, boy, that was missed that turn. That was epic. Yeah. Bicycle. I see him. He didn't look too happy. No, he didn't. Yeah, I am just not getting any grip with these tires, which is probably not too surprising. Pop down into third, takes its time. Fourth. What does that sign say? I think it said 20 miles an hour in the turns oh, okay. ahead. Oh, well, then we'll make sure to slow down to 50 again. Okay. is surprisingly predictable. This gets really tight up here. Yeah, overpass. Yeah, you don't want to get too fast on this in the uh, winter. It has a tendency to ice up on that road. Yeah. So, I mean, the only way you're going to get any actual, like, kick out of the rear is to trail brake. And I'm just not getting that. How's your lunch doing? It's still midway down my esophagus. Good. On that pass, uh, we had a maximum lateral G force of 0.97 and acceleration of 0.77 and braking of 0.28, which isn't very good, but you know, it's no tires. What are you going to do? Okay, so it doesn't have the soul of a sports car, but let's be fair and talk about what it is. It's reasonably priced, it's reasonably equipped, it's comfortable, it's configurable. You can fit a lot of groceries in the back of this thing, and yes, you can easily take your kid to hockey practice. There, I said it. For my next car review, I'm hoping to get to review the car. <laughs> Maybe when you're older. <laughs> uh, honestly, the, the car, for what it is, it drove fairly comfortably. I mean, for a six-seater, it doesn't ride like a minivan, it doesn't ride like a truck, it rides like a car. I mean, it is on the Mazda 3 platform. Yeah, it's, it's basically a Mazda longer. 3 that's a little bit longer, a yeah. little softer. Oh wait, I'm just repeating myself now. Yeah. I mean, once you have the seats folded down in the back, I wouldn't want to be the guy sitting in the last row of seats, quite honestly. <laughs> yeah, There's not like, a lot of room back there. It's like a piece of plywood that you mm -hmm. strap yourself onto, essentially. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> but with those folded down, the, the other back seats, um, it, it really wasn't that bad of a car for that style of car. Mm -hmm. The ride was a little bit rough. Um, I wouldn't want to drive it over super long distances. Yeah. Yeah, the motor, the motor being it is just a 2.3 liter, it's not like it's a V6 that you're really going to be, you know, cruising down the highway on. And that's kind of, I think, the, the biggest, it's not really the problem with it. I mean, because this car is only, what, 20, you can buy it for like 19000 or something when it's, it's a lower end. A stripped down version. Yeah, a stripped down version, like yeah. Um, and so when you look at the dollar figure, I mean, you're not going to get that kind of a, a Luxo cruiser. And I think for the money, it's, it's a good shot. In fact, my, my in-laws actually bought an 08 of this same car after they shopped around a lot. So if you're a res retired school teacher, it might not be a bad car for you. <laughs> Carting around the grandkids and going to the beach or Actually, something touche, like that. Actually, touche, yes, the grandkids. How many grandkids can they fit in the back seats and ditch yeah. the parents? And it's 21 to 27 miles per gallon. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's, it's really not that bad. What it does really lack, though, I mean, this is the GT. This is supposed to be the tricked out model. It really doesn't have a lot of options for it. I mean, it. It just had a, a baseline run-of-the-mill stereo, mm -hmm. uh, no GPS, no electric seats. Yeah, the GPS is an option, uh, but unlike what I said in the video, the, um, the electric seats are not an option. Yeah. You, know, you can only get manual, which kind of sucks. You know, yeah. When you think Grand Touring, you think you know, you're at least going to have electric seats. Mm -hmm. you know? It does have uh, dual sliding uh, rear doors, mm. though, which is kind of a nice thing leaves a nice empty chamber in the back if you wanted to throw things through your car. And you can play Kung Fu Action Hero and jump through the car Jumping as well, through too. The we car. had to try that. Unfortunately, we don't have any evidence to share with you. Um, but they're not powered doors. Once again, this is a GT. You would expect power doors, especially if a grocery Oh, my name is Aaron. I don't want to lift my arm and close the door. It 
Open the door. For for the, who's going to be buying this car? You've got your arms full of kids or arms full of groceries. You want the or ease of, sticks. or hockey sticks. The ease of pushing a button to open doors. True. Or just click the door and have it open for you. Doesn't have it.